Hello again. Let's go on with this civilization game. And uh, we have some barbarians here annoying me, pillaging my stuff. I'm building walls to help me deal with them, and their outpost is here. The thing is, I never settle up there, and um, I totally could settle up here. There is some nice land. Uh, there aren't any luxuries that I don't have already. And that is a problem at this point uh, when we have to deal with so much happiness, so many happiness issues. Um, we have horses, but we already have horses. So, I mean, it's just nice land. But at this point in the game, until I develop here, I mean, it's too far from the action anyway. So I, they won't be producing any units, except maybe for England, because I'm going to conquer England at the very end of the game so yeah hmm interesting okay then um, should I sell up here yes or no yes or no feels like a waste of time to be honest I can just keep a couple of units here and deal with barbarians as they come it's not going to be such a big issue anyway we are at war with Korea we took this city that's nice and uh, we're going for the capital because this one, we have an encampment right here, so we cannot take it. It's just easier to actually go for the capital, which is uh, Ye Yeongju. I imagine that's uh, the historical capital of Korea at some point. Then after we take the capital, it's a lot easier to take this one or, or even Jinju. It's uh, terrain. Terrain is really easy to take Korea, a lot easier than it was uh, here in Zululand. So... This war shouldn't be so hard, although they are more advanced than me uh, when it comes to... You know, this guy can upgrade. When it comes to um, technology, they are more advanced than me. But he, he built a lot of those huachas, and those huachas are really not a big deal. They are worse than field cannons, so... Oh, this one. This guy wants me to have courses, which I will, I will, I will have um, very soon, actually. And he wants a research alliance, to which I'm going to say absolutely uh, no. Absolutely no. I offend you. Well, I'm sorry, dude. What? What can I say? Uh, Hatusa has declared war. Okay. So someone is now, uh, I think Korea is a suzerain of someone, I guess. And, okay, that's annoying. Okay, so Seon Deok is participating in this emergency against me. Well, that's interesting. If, okay. The members of the military base capture specific cities from Genghis Khan. Defend at the Queenie. Okay. Oh, my cat wants to go out, but it's too dark right now and too cold, so I'm not going to open the window. Dude, it's not going to happen, I'm sorry. Um, yeah, the cat is looking at me like, hey! I, I'm sure you can hear him complaining about me not opening the window, but it's not going to happen, dude. It's, it's, it's winter and it's late and it's cold. And I want to keep the house warm to deal with the Korean War. Uh, the cat doesn't understand about the complexities of how going at war against Korea. And you cannot be cold when you're managing that stuff. So anyway, um, yeah, I just need to defend this city at Equini, which is going to be very easy. I was at war against her anyway, so not a big deal. And if they fail, which is absolutely going to happen, I gain plus two comma seven when attacking a member unit with a city strike with a city strike in 30 gold I mean in 30 turns I'm already going to be over with Korea so this is not relevant because it's only FX member unit so nothing and 1600 gold per member only one member so 1600 gold sure there is nothing let's do that a plank between a sailor and eternity. yeah that's fine whatever cartography is coming in too which is fine uh, oh, we can do some bombarding. Yeah, sure. Let's do it. Let's go here. Yep. Okay, this guy needs to get out because this guy is going to attack. And can we finish this? 
We cannot, actually. Well, that was, that was uh, disappointing. Horsemen are really outdated at this point. They really need to go for cavalry. It's going to happen. It's going to happen soon. So uh, I'm not going to go crazy over this stuff. Okay, this, this pike and shot guy could do some damage here. But we have, we have a few units. We have bombardment, basically. So it's not a big deal. Hmm. That is something I could consider. Okay. So that's very much okay. Now uh we are going for that. Okay, this is all fine. We have a <laughs> some guy. Uh great engineers James Sam St. George. Oh, okay. Ancient and medieval walls, which uh, she already has, so uh, that's not really relevant. Who's losing, losing loyalty? This fella. Um, why? I mean, you have this guy giving loyalty to everybody who's who's around him, including the city, actually, because it's like nine tiles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, including a Thequini. So I don't know what's going on here. We're going to keep an eye on this in case I have to move uh, someone. Yeah, that's super annoying, I have to say. Let's go here and I think I have to do this first. Just to get rid of that guy so he doesn't attack my, my city over here. Um, you, my friend, could totally get an armory. Or, or even Great Zimbabwe, actually. Oh yeah, this is a city that wanted to get Great Zimbabwe. I remember now. Yeah, let's do this. Why not? I mean, sounds nice. Um, okay, this guy can uh, promote. Sure. This guy can heal. This guy can take a look around and promote. So, do I want to attack this guy? Not from here. I'm going to risk it. This is risky because this guy is going to attack me and he's, uh, he might kill me, but he probably won't. Uh, he's super strong against me though, so I might die, but I wanted to take the chance just to kill one of, one of Korea's units. I can produce more units a lot faster uh, than Korea, so I'm not building Forbidden City anywhere. Shaka is building Forbidden City, so you know I may want to get it before he does, but certainly not in this city. Uh, this city could have an encampment over here, I think that's probably a good idea. Or or even an industrial zone here is plus three with so many mines. So that is actually a very nice industrial zone. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that, that totally works. Let's do that. Yeah. That's fine. Uh, absolutely not. So you can just stay where you are. Actually, you know what we're going to do with this fella? He's going to come here. Just in case this city is actually losing loyalty, which doesn't seem to be the case, actually. Okay. Um, do I want to help this guy with the Great General? Probably not. The Great General has more important stuff to do. Okay, let me think about this. Okay, this guy needs to come and help. I guess I have to do that. This one goes here. Mm, okay, let's let's yeah, let's deal with this fella. These guys are already healing, I imagine. Yeah, this is fine, and that's fine too. And the battery ram can come like all the way here. Okay, so next turn we are going to start dealing with the capital of Korea. 
and what's happening here I, I could really use a mine over there oh wait but this guy will have to fix all of the pillage things from there um, yeah let's embark over here and so things are going fine um, yeah next turn come on wait what's going on Uh, yeah, sure, why not? Let's chop this stuff. 20. Okay. Good. The galley will wait until I can upgrade it. Mm. And so, Korea really wants to get this city for the emergency, but I'm not going to let them do that. Okay, Shaka completed for being city. That's the end of that. Okay. Oh. Damn it. Seondok has the Alhambra, okay. So where is the Alhambra? Oh, lots of stuff is happening. Okay, let's go with this one. Let's go with this one. Okay, the housing issue, I'm not going to resolve it. Alhambra is not done here. I lost a trade route. Okay, well, bar barbarians. There's a freaking barbarian here, and England is not doing anything about it. Jeez, dude. You have to be kidding me. Okay, we are going to, to do something about that barbarian, that's for sure. Man, I wish I could queue stuff in the production queue. Um, what are we going to send to that barbarian place? Like... like um, Let's send this guy because if we get victories with musket men, we uh, we can get um, stuff. And uh, Jesus, dude, I'm not going to open the window. My cat is really annoying me with that. Yeah, this is not a big deal. I made peace with uh, Lisbon apparently. Yeah, okay, that's fine. That's not relevant. Oh fuck, you know what? I'm going to open the window for the cat because he's not gonna stop. And... Okay, there you go. You can leave now. Go ahead. Okay, there he is. I don't know what's his deal. Why does he want to go outside when it's so freaking cold? I don't get it. But, yeah, you know, cats, they have hair all over their body, so I guess cold is not such a big issue for them. Um, can purchase with faith, I can purchase an apostle. Yeah, I actually want that. Yeah. I actually do want an apostle. Okay, this guy is established. This city is perfectly fine, full loyalty, no problems whatsoever. Um, ooh, this guy can get promoted, which is nice. First of all, though, let's do something about this fella. I'm going to go here, get that. I don't need Granada right now, it's, it's not a big deal to lose it. Taj Mahal, mm, where? Well, this is a completely useless style, so I wouldn't mind. I gotta do Taj Mahal or more units. Or a trader in one turn, that's interesting. But uh, no, I'm thinking more like a field cannon or a bombard actually. Yeah, bombard. Let's go bombard. Okay. So. This guy is going to repair all of the stuff. Here we're going to do some killing. Yeah, that needed to happen. Okay, so that's fine. Uh, Brussels could do maybe something like a trader because we are losing them to barbarians which is super annoying at this point in the game okay they have a watch inside the city so much stuff to pillage man so tempting 
Oh wait, I don't have open borders with him? How, how come? How about this? No? Oh, he won't give me open borders for luxury. That's weird. Okay. Okay, I have three idols. I can give him one. Okay, there you go. End of story. So now I can do this. Aha. Uh Aha. -huh. Uh -huh. All right. If I put a unit here, it's going to be bombarded from that point. But I guess I have to do it anyway. I need to surround um, the city. Yeah, that's fine. This guy goes here. This guy goes there. Okay. Okay, that's fine. We have a lot of farms here, which is awesome, obviously. Okay, that's fine. We'll get that stuff done very soon. Here we go. Rebellion in 10. Yeah, that's not going to happen. Mm, yeah, we're going to do this. This guy can come here and heal inside the city. This guy can go over here. Wait. You can wait. You can uh, fortify, I guess. You can wait right there. Wait right here. Mm. No, not yet. Mm -hmm. Okay, this needs to happen. I guess this guy will have to heal now. This fella can go here and uh, wait until I get rid of those barbarians. Yep, it's fine. Gali needs to wait. And you, my friend, are going to chop that wonder for me. And where are we going? Now, this is interesting. Are we what, what do we want to do with espionage in this type of game? Uh, not a lot, actually. There isn't. There aren't many things I could do. I can try to get a city with loyalty. That that could be nice. That could be nice. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. How is England doing right now? England is normal, but, but maybe they go into the dark age soon. We have a governor here. Uh, like, well, this guy... The cities are so close to London, I don't think they will rebel anytime soon. Mm -hmm. If they were expanding into crazy places, that would be uh, a good place to do it. Uh, what else can we do? We can sabotage industrial zones here, for example, so they cannot build units. We can steal something from Korea, but I'm going to take these cities very soon, so we are not going to have a lot of time to do that. Is anyone close to a cultural victory or something? Wilhelmina is going for it. I could steal something from her. Um, what, is, what is my culture here? 76. Yeah. I could steal some, ta some stuff from her. I guess that's a good idea. Yeah, because I'm going to get here very late, so that's probably a good idea. All right then. Um, for loyalty in 20. Okay, that's fine. Just having a unit and this guy here is enough to solve all, the, all of the loyalty issues. 
Oh, he brought another pike and shot guy. So that was annoying, but we have to deal with it. Hattusa, Lisbon, Lisbon, okay, so Lisbon. Oh, that was super annoying, actually. Super annoying. I didn't expect that to happen. Okay, let's deal with this. Can I do can I kill this guy? Yeah, I can. Okay, good. Good. So that's the end of that shit. Let's do this. That what who's uh, the queen is something something. Rebellion in seven hundred turns. Yeah, I think uh, it's not going to happen so soon. <laughs> seven hundred turns, so yeah. We can deal with that. This guy could heal for one turn. Feral capacity, sure. Not a problem. What can we get here? Oh I didn't I didn't check the options before pressing the button. Oh what an idiot. Well it's gonna happen. That's that's done, so Mm -hmm. Give me this, sure. Give me that, sure. Okay, what can I get? Can I get any more production? No, actually, I would like strengths against cities that have a different religion. This is, this is not very useful. I mean, if you're playing domination and you need a combat strength, you are not going to be spreading your religion to foreign cities. So this this whole crusade thing is stupid. It should be combat units gain plus ten combat strength against units that follow a different religion, or units from a civilization that follows a different religion. That that is what the crusade actually would be. Yeah, that's just stupid. And this is decent. Or I get the amenity building. But I don't have a lot of holy sites, so yeah, I'm going to just get this, but uh, yeah, it's not a big deal. I shouldn't have done that. That's not what I wanted my my, uh, my guy for. So that was just stupid. That was just a stupid thing to do. Okay, so this guy got attacked and this guy got attacked, which is fine. Oh, whoa. Okay, let me think about this. I don't want to be bombarded by these two places at the same time by placing a guy here. I am going to get bombarded by these two places, whatever I do, so I might as well just yeah, do it like this, so these two guys are not bombarding me. We have the siege situation, which is what we wanted anyway. Okay, then. Uh, pa -pa 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 Oh, that's nice. Okay. So this guy could Okay, wait a second. This guy can move here so he can only get bombarded by the city. Yeah. Okay, that's good. Oh, I forgot to bring the siege tower on. Hello? Okay, the interface is being stupid again. Yeah, it's being super stupid actually. Um, I seriously want to select this freaking siege tower. Okay, let's do this. Finally. And I don't want this guy here. He's going to go there. I want this guy here. There we go. This guy there. 
Um, this fella could attack. Okay, so no defense. Excellent. So now this guy is not going to get bombarded by anyone, so he can safely attack. There we go. And um, yeah, that's it for now. Next turn we're taking the city, but now we're getting a trade route. Um, these guys are in a different tile, but I might be able to plunder them later. Okay, this guy could attack, but he's going to get attacked by a bunch of guys, so let's wait. You will wait. Can I do anything with this fella now? No. Mm. Let's go here. I don't want to get attacked by this pikeman next turn. Uh, I just want to guarantee that doesn't happen. This guy is doing fine. Okay. Uh, bum, bum, bum. Okay, so we want to circumnavigate the globe, but we want to do it during the next era to guarantee that we don't enter a golden a uh, dark age. I mean, golden ages at this point, they are not such a big deal for me, but not entering a dark age, that is a much bigger deal. Okay, there you go. Caravel, we can explore with that guy later. 14 turns for this, whatever it gives me. I think it gives me something like envoys or some stuff like that. Okay, we recover that. How are we doing with happiness? Good enough, good enough. Uh, can we kill this fella? We very much can. Oh, some English warrior is here for some reason. I completed a trade route. Yeah, I could circumnavigate the globe to try to get a golden age, but uh, it's, it's not such a big deal. I'm okay with a normal age. Oh! Oh, that was a smart move. He created a pike and shot immediately and he killed my wounded knight from here. So that was smart move, yeah. Well done. This guy is dying. Okay, who else died? Oh, the siege tower was here. Damn it. Okay. 110 turns. I guess we can accept that for now. Okay, remove this please. Thank you. I really have a lot of issues with the interface in this game. Okay, I think that's good enough. Um, yeah, those pike and shot guys are doing a lot of damage to my units. There isn't much I can do about it, really. Plus two phase, plus one population. Gain three government productions. Ooh, this guy is nice. Yeah, that that wonder is super good. How many turns does it take to build it? 31. Do I want to go for it? Do I want to get finish the builder and then chop it? Yeah, that's what I want going to do. I will have to care about the barbarian in England later because uh, I just, just realized that Casa de Contratación is actually nice. <laughs> Finish this, yeah. Uh, oh, we have this guy here. Uh, this guy can help me with the rebellion situation here. And so... This is fine. Okay, we have to take this city, we have to kill this guy. We have to do both things at the same time. So we're doing this, we're doing that. We're doing this. We are moving this guy away. This guy could attack. 
This guy can attack. Okay. Can I take it? There you go. Okay. Rebellion in three, huh? Well, we're going to see about that. Plus four era score because I got a capital. I'm obviously keeping it. I can do a trade route. I can repair the monument. That's going to give me some culture. I can fill a policy slot because I got the Alhambra. So I'm going to do uh, this and oh, the discount is not necessary. Okay, let's um, do some nice stuff like amenities. And what can we do? More science, more culture. Actually, more culture could be relevant in this situation because my culture sucks, but I don't have a lot of theater squares. So that couldn't really do much. I guess I can do the science stuff. Or the industrial zone adjacency bonuses. Mm, I do have a few of those industrial zones. What can I get here? Um, double experience plus the loyalty. Okay, the loyalty is fine, I guess. Okay, I think I'm playing with this. This looks nice. And then... I could attack this guy, but I'm going to get my ass kicked, so I can wait. Get a defensive bonus from... Jungle, maybe? Yep, that works. This guy needs to die as well. We have a bunch of enemy units here that are in dire need of um, dying. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah. Can this guy heal? I mean, there could come a pike and shot guy from there. So let's stay here. We have more visibility on this side of the map. Yeah, we are waiting inside the city. Um, can this guy pillage a trade route on his own? No, he cannot. But that's a shame. Then we go back here. Okay, this is fine. This guy waits. This guy waits, I guess. Goes here. Um, yeah, let's chop the wonder. Okay, trade routes, trade routes. We have Mapuche, we have Netherlands, we have England. We want to stay in England. Um, this barbarian thing here is annoying. How much would it be to deal with that, like the fast way? Uh, okay, fine, let's do this. And then this guy. She feel 15 gold, that's a very good route. Um, but what I really want is more production here in Morjejo Dado. To get Casa de Contratación, that's a very good wonder. Alright. Uh, speaking of production trade routes, let's do this. Mm. What can this guy do? He can give some production to Brussels. That's probably a good idea. Am I growing into that? No, for some reason I'm really not growing into the good stuff. Oh man, I hate it when that happens. Well, this, this will be a nice hit for Korea. Uh, I have more science per turn than them, so I'm going to be ahead in science very soon. Especially now that I took the capital with this nice campus. Industrial zone over there. Alhambra, encampment, and commercial hub. Beautiful city. Beautiful, beautiful city. And I'm 
totally taking this one with Petra, that's another beautiful city, and Jingju with, what is this? The Oracle, sure, let's get the Oracle. Now the terrain in Jinju, we have some, some hills over there, so it's not so easy. Is it actually easier to take Jinju? I think it might be. I think it might be. Okay. This guy is also exploring. So, yeah, next turn. There's a lot of Korea that I have never seen over here. There should be like two more cities up there. What just happened? Okay, so I'm getting attacked a little bit. That was bound to happen. Rebellion in four. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's let's move. Rebellion in three. Reassign to this one. We can bombard. Okay, let's do this. I need more field cannons. I think that's that's my conclusion from this. From all of the issues I'm having with these spike and shot guys, I realize that I simply need more field cannons. Oh, come on. That should have been a kill. Claim great person. Great scientist. Figures Eureka for chemistry. Okay, sure, whatever. Um, who's losing loyalty? Yeah, no, not anymore. Okay. And then this one. Yeah, well that's fine. Those those cities are going to be alright. Uh, can we kill that fella? Yep, he's gone. Okay, so this guy is available for promotion. He needs to come back first. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, so we are going to have a golden age after all. How many turns? Nine turns. Okay, that's fine. Uh, you, my friend, are coming here. You, my friend, are killing that guy, if you can. Oh, shit. That was super annoying. I did not want to do that, obviously. The interface of this game with those movement dash attacks is, is super annoying. Is this a heal? Yes, it is. Okay, so maybe this, this field kind of won't be bombarded by the city because there is a heal right there. Uh, which also means attacking Jinju is not so easy. I'm going to go for Jinju, for sure. Uh, Karakorum, uh, you know what? Do this, because I'm, I'm getting barbarians all over the place and it's just annoying, honestly. Casa de Contratación. Yeah, let's go. Why am I seeing that stuff? I don't want to see that stuff. Uh, repair the granary first, then get walls. Sure, rebellion in five. This guy is going to be there in three, so it's fine. We're doing fine. Um, this guy is almost dying, so he has to enter the city. Let's get this Eureka stuff, okay. Steam power and chemistry, sure, why not? And this guy is going to heal. So we can prepare for attacking that city. We're going to wait with the battery in RAM. Too bad we lost the siege tower because we cannot build anymore. Uh, but, you know, I guess that's the price of war or whatever. Awesome. 160 gold from that. That's obviously very good. Nice. I like that. Um, I can take that city for free. This is nice. You, my friend, are going to do this. Maybe lock a little bit of food. Sure, why not? But not a lot of it. 
because it's occupied so it's not going to grow anytime soon I'm just going doing that for the future this guy can wait this guy cannot really move so um, you're going to wait for now and this guy's going to heal this guy's going to go up here we're going to deal with those freaking barbarians okay we really really have to kill this encampment okay okay that's all super weird anyway I need to deal with those barbarians uh, one of these guys is going to go to Sheffield sure because that's a lot of money I just cannot lose that amount of money uh, Granada is giving me two production which is nice I'm going to do that and let's start chopping Casa de Contratación and before we hit next turn I'm going to stop this video which has been long enough I'm going to see you guys later